figured this would be a great place to talk about the orca bill because it's West Seattle, Alki Beach, one of the places where people can see these orcas. But the whales aren't just special because they come visit us every summer. They're special because of what they eat. This is salmon jerky, and salmon is the number one component of the southern resident killer whales diet. They're very picky eaters, kind of like us here in Western Washington, right? And that's why orcas are starving because we're running out of salmon and that means the orcas are running out of food. But we've known that southern residents have been starving for decades. So why are they still starving? Why hasn't anyone done anything? The challenges facing orca recovery are complicated, political, and come with economic consequences. Some people believe the Snake River dams have to come down in order for fish populations to regenerate. But the people who like the dams, they say pollution's the problem. And if pollution and toxins in the water aren't cleaned up, the fish won't come back even if the dams come down. But then there are others who say boat noise is the biggest problem, that orcas echolocate, meaning they send out sound in order to know where their food is or where each other are. And they can't hear anything with all the boats. Confused yet? I am. So how will this bill help? Well, let's take a look at it. It would increase patrols by Fish and Wildlife Police to keep boats away from whales. It also forces boats to go slower near the orcas. And now drones are included in vessels not allowed to come any closer than 200 yards. And finally, it sets a deadline for groups that are invested in thinking of recovery options for these whales. By the end of this year, several groups have to come up with some kind of realistic solution to bring back the number of orcas. This bill is a long time coming. Scientists have known for years that southern residents need our help. But will this bill make the difference? It's already its second attempt. The first one failed. Now it's our chance as Washington voters to let our legislators know what we think. On Alki Beach, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.